Hi, I'm James from Fidgets, and in today's video, we'll be showcasing the new wireless Vintub. The wireless Vintub works a lot like a regular Vintub, except that it connects to your program via Wi-Fi or Ethernet instead of USB. This allows you to use it anywhere your network can reach. The wireless hub has six Vint ports, an Ethernet port, and a power jack. On the label, you'll find the serial number, MAC addresses, and default Wi-Fi password. As we mentioned before, you can use this just like any other Vint hub. Now let's see how to get started. Whether you're using Wi-Fi or Ethernet, your first step is to power it. The indicator light will flash once when it's powered and remain on when it's booted. After it boots, we can connect to it. This can be done using Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Out of the box, the wireless hub broadcasts its own Wi-Fi network. Here, we'll join this network to begin configuration. By navigating to the list of networks, we can find the wireless hub under its default host name. Here, we enter the password printed on the label to connect to the network. Now that we're connected, we can open the fidget control panel. If you've connected your hub with Ethernet, it will show up here automatically. From there, open the Network Fidgets tab. We can double-click on the wireless hub to launch the web interface. The first time you access the web interface, you'll be asked for a new password. This password will be used to access the web interface in the future. Once you log in, you will be on the status page. Here, you can find basic information about your wireless hub. To configure the hub, go to the Network tab. By default, the wireless hub is configured in access point mode. This hosts the Wi-Fi network you may have logged into the first time. You can modify any of the access mode settings from here. To use the wireless hub on your own Wi-Fi network, you can change the hub to client mode by selecting client from the drop-down list. This will provide options to scan for available networks and enter the network's credentials. If you plan on only using Ethernet, you can disable all wireless activities from here. Next, let's check out the Fidgets tab. Here, you can modify the settings of your Fidget network server. The Fidgets tab also provides a built-in control panel to help you with development. The control panel lets you see what's connected to the hub and lets you interact with your Fidgets directly. Finally, let's check out the System tab. Here, you can modify your host name, change your web interface password, upgrade your firmware, and more. We hope you enjoyed this video on the Wireless Fins Hub. For more information, visit our website.